Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Eden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today in the city of... What city am I in? Oh, Costa Mesa. I'm in the city of Costa Mesa. I'm going to go into the Goodwill right here. It's a smaller store, but it's one of my favorites. They always have a ton of stuff. And, like, if you ever drive by here and you go to, like, the back where the people, like, drop off donations, it's literally always full. There's just so much good stuff here. So, But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos to go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting ventures. But without further do let's go into the store and go check it out also i got princess box from today look at how close i am to the the sign the goodwill sign right there yes also that's the megalodon even though i think it's supposed to be jaws but i i like to say that it's the meg that ate the smaller meg from the movie the meg let's go inside that's the drop off back there do you see it it's like so full of stuff and here's the entrance just around the corner let's go inside check it out See what sort of bags we have here today. Nine West looks very Dolce and Gabbana ish. The fossil? Hobo? Oh, this is the hobo. Hobo International. What do you think about this? Super fun tassel. But it has a lot of like color situation problems. It has a golden duck on it. What is this? Franco Sardo. Bucket bag. Clear Vivier pouch? Oh, stop it. It is a Clear Vivier pouch. Yes. Love Clear V. Now I wonder if there's any other Clear V here. Usually how the clutch is styled is like a fold over style clutch. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, what's this? Alright, so here's the store. It's not very big, but it's full of possibilities. Just like this Clear V clutch that I found. Totally worth the trip already. Clear V is the best. And she is also like she was already up and coming, but I feel like now, especially since she has her stuff at like anthropology stores and She's expanded her line from it's like handbags and stuff to clothing and home accessories. I feel like she's way more well known and her stuff is, um, it resells for a pretty good amount. So, very excited. Whoa, unicorn statue, 79. Ooh, this is cute. Deep roots from Ray Dunn. I wonder how much this is. 4.99. It's an actual watering can. Should I get this? Maybe. All right, I found it online. It's not like the most expensive thing I've ever done. So, hmm. Now I'm thinking about it. But it's really cute. I like the color. It's brand new. $4.99. I'm just gonna think about it. Is that fake ice? Do they individually price the fake ice? Yeah. So, <laughs> took out the ice. Instead, they were um, actually little glass turkeys. And I think they hold candles. They're actually kind of cute. They're 99 cents each. These would be kind of fun for like Thanksgiving and to put them at each of like the place settings at the table. I did want to check out to see if I could find out where this was from though. They don't have a make, so. I'm, I'm thinking about those. I don't know, I'm really on the fence. This little cookie jar is kind of cute too. Pierre One Imports, love that. Is that like a larger owl or is it like, it's a larger owl, right? I don't know, with a baby owl on top of it. 
Uh, it's down here. Oh, this is kind of an interesting little pot. I think it used to house a candle. But it's cute. It's kind of like whimsical. Yellow, the polka dots. That's fun. I kind of do like this. How much is this? $4.99. I also kind of like this thing. And then this yellow glass thing, $1.99. Like a cute collection of like yellow things. Like is that kind of fun? There's also like this thing that's like glass and yellow. What else is back there? I'm still thinking about this Ray Dunn thing. Hmm. Okay, if someone takes it, then I won't get it, obviously. But we'll see. I'm just gonna look around at the rest of the stuff and see if we can find anything else. Oh, these are cool. Are these like pirates? Oh, they are Pyrex. Those are pretty. I wonder if these are the William Sonoma or Pottery Barn ones. Nope, they're not. There's also this giant Pyrex thing right here. I wish I knew how to date them. I know some like vintage Pyrex is like super expensive. But I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Ikea? Ooh, look at this cup. Creative co-op. This is pretty. Isn't that dainty? I love the handle. Check it out. I found this really pretty Starbucks mug. I think I'm gonna get it. It's $4.99. It's pretty, right? Like white with a pink. What's this? Oh, this is cool. The world something. Is it supposed to be a Lego? I think so. I don't know. Do we see anything else? There's a little doggy. Tables. Oh, another Starbucks. Ooh, hello. This is kind of cute. I love the yellow telephone. Okay, this is interesting. Let's hold on to this. There's this cup of happy one, which is really cute. There's like a little smiley face inside. Nature life. I just need to go through these mugs. I feel like there's some pretty interesting ones in here. I just gotta dig through. We got a hydro flask alert. Found a... I forgot how big this is. Um, 32 ounce. 4.99. But it's gonna really beat up, so... We're gonna pass on that one. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Four ninety nine. That's yeah. unusual, huh? Oh, are you serious? Oh, is this from Pottery Barn? Yes, it is. One I got. I already have a bunch of these though, so we're not gonna get that. They have a lot of decorative plates. Someone's decorative plate collection was donated. <laughs> Old goat. Uh, whoa, what is this? This is kind of cool. You can display stuff on top of that. There's a turtle dish right there, a dolphin one. Looks like it's made of shells. $1.99. These look like Doc Martin shoelaces for 99 cents. Ooh, a little tiny container thing. How dainty and pretty. Look at the design on the top. Ooh, it goes with that other dainty little thing, too. Um, this is kind of cool. Vanity organizer. Interesting. There's like a cool pumpkin thing over there. This is a spoon rest. Made in Italy. There's a abstract horse statue made of stone from Ikea. Clock. No markings. All right, you guys, I got a bunch of goodies. I'm really excited. We are now in Costa Mesa. We're gonna head over to Cross Road. It's just around the corner right here. And see if we can find anything cool. I'll see you guys inside. I look crazy like this. <laughs> this is what it always look like. Also, people just noticed me vlogging, so I'm like super red and embarrassed. And they're like, hey, that guy's vlogging. <laughs> this is what they have in. A little case right here. 
That Kate Spade wallet matches that one backpack that I had that one time. So cute. There is a coach bag right there, YSL, some Valentinos, Gucci, Tory Burch. This vintage Gucci, like, briefcase is super cool. There's this Rebecca Minka fossil. This Fila backpack. We got the Perlina. That one kind of looks like a Bottega. Another fossil right there. Bottier. Forever I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is fun. One of those giant Rebecca Minkoffs. Michael Kors. We have this mirrored Alexander Wang clutch. Um, they like clipped it to the back right there though, so you can see where it's clipped. It's really cute, 75 bucks though. All right, it's nighttime, but we are here at Crossroads in Huntington Beach. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, you guys, up at the front they had a Chloe AirPod case, which is crazy, so cute. And they also had a Coach Rogue, which, hello, I have to get that. So I totally have those currently set aside for me. And now we're just looking through the regular handbags, see if we can find anything. Michael Kors is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, this coach. I feel like this one is so stinking cute. It's only 24 bucks. I think we're gonna have to get this. Cause I feel like this is such a cute style. Little shoulder bags are so in right now. Um, uh, I know this is like a coach factory bag. 65 is a little pricey. There's this Rebecca Minkoff right here for 37. Purple Rebecca over here as well. It's like a lavender situation for 47.50. Uh, oh, this is cute. This one's 37.50. This is fun. Maybe. There's this cute Kate Spade. It's brand new with tags, but it's 37.50. But it's really cute. It's like a little envelope bag. Turn it into a wallet as well, which is pretty fun. Another Kate Spade, Kate Spade. <gasps> Ooh, Tory Birch. This is exciting. 55. I do like the little raffia looking sides right there. It's a large bag. I think you could also wear this crossbody for sure. I think we're going to get that as well. I put back the coach bag because <laughs> it was peeling on one side. I did not notice. So we're not getting that one unfortunately, but let me know if you guys like that kind of style. So I can keep out an eye for more of them. We'll keep a little eye open for them. Um, oh, look at this round bag. This is like a, a Madewell 24. Um, this also Madewell? No, this is street level. Michael Kors. Oh, there's this Michael Kors. This one's cool, it's like that cool turn lock. 65, it's interesting. Oh, it's one of those little, oh. Uh, yeah, Kate, half off. This little Hello Kitty thing, what is this? Oh, how cute, Hello Kitty, it's a little bag. Mm, what's this, is this a fossil? Ah, it fell. Oh no, this is a coach. This is pretty. Alright guys, we are back from the Goodwill and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting. So we went to the Goodwill and we also went to Crossroads in this video. And let me show you guys what we got at the Goodwill first. So, I had to pick up this mug. I thought it was really pretty. It is a Starbucks mug and it's white and then it has like this pretty like mauve. Um, color like shape thing on it and then what's cool is that in the inside it also has kind of like a taupe like shape that mimics the exterior and this was $4.99 it was a little expensive but I thought this cup was really really pretty I might gift this to my sister for Christmas as part of her Christmas thrift um, box present so I don't know we'll see but I, I really really like it and do you guys think this was worth $4.99? I don't know, I'm so crazy with the Starbucks mugs, mugs in general. And I feel like today was a pretty good mug day because I, I feel like I was channeling mugs today because I found some really, um, like these mugs that I really wanted from Starbucks, these Christmas ones. And actually, I'm going to show you guys. I found 
I finally completed a set of eight for these mugs. So I don't know. I was just like channeling them really hard or something. And it just carried over into my regular thrifting because I got some regular, um, I got some Starbucks mugs at regular Goodwills as well, not just the Starbucks store. But um, anyway, up next, I found this uh, Claire Vivier. This is the fold over clutch. This is in a beautiful red color. It's a red suede. And I just think this is so pretty. It's perfect for fall, for perfect for Christmas. And it's a really great large pouch. The inside is in, um, what's that fabric called? It's kind of like a chambray. Chambray. And this guy was, um, $5. I just wish they didn't write on the little tab. But this is Claire Vivier. We love her. She is a California, LA-based designer, and I love that all of her um, leather goods are made locally here in California, which I think is fantastic. Then, last but not least, um, found this beautiful Rebecca Minkoff satchel. I love this one. It kind of reminds me of like a Balenciaga almost. In a way, it has this cool um, woven braided handle detail. And there's a front zipper pocket. It has these cool tassels. It also does have a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. And the interior um, has two open pockets, a zipper pocket, and then a card pocket. And this guy was $12.99. So there's this guy right here. Then I went to uh, Crossroads and... I got this bag right here. This is a red Tory Burch um, shoulder bag. It's it's really pretty. I love the little raffia detail on the sides. I think the color of the bag is beautiful. I also love that it's like woven through the top flap and the body of the bag. I think that's really cool. You can wear this as a shoulder uh, bag or as a crossbody because it will extend. There is a large back pocket right here, perfect for your cell phone. And then the main body of the bag has a large interior zipper pocket and then two open pockets down below. This guy was $55. There's that. Such a pretty bag. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I think it, it has a lot of potential. Then I got... This really cute, brand new... This is a Chloe um, iPad, or iPad, um, AirPods. Uh, AirPod case. It's super cute. The print is really pretty. I know it's like kind of looking blown out because of the lighting, but that's how it looks. Um, it's literally brand new. It still has the Chloe tags on it. This bag, this little um, guy actually retailed for $380 right there. And I actually have my AirPod. So um, I have, so th this is $24, which is crazy, first of all. Um, they gave, they sold it at a really good deal. And I have my AirPods in here somewhere. Okay, so um, I have the new AirPod 3s, which are smaller than the AirPod Pros. So, um, I don't know, like this case actually fits it kind of perfectly. So, when you close it up, like it, I don't know, like I feel like it was made specifically for the AirPod 3s, but where are my other ones? I'm sure you could actually put the older AirPod size um, ones in here, like the AirPod 1 and 2s will fit in here, but it's crazy that the AirPod 3s actually fit in here, because this like, probably was released definitely before the 3s came out, um, since... It looks like it was actually discounted already. So it went from 308 to or 380. Oh my gosh, 380 dollars to 254.60 at the store. And I know they do that at like um, like in department stores and stuff. And so that means it would have had to be from like uh, like last year or something. So I don't know. It's super duper cute. 
<laughs> it even has a little C Chloe charm thing on it. And then you can just like carry it like this, kind of like a lanyard. You can wear it around your neck, kind of like a necklace. So I, I don't know, it's kind of cool. And I, I don't know. I don't know if I would use it for myself or um, I would use it like without this, um, the lanyard, the leather lanyard thing. But this is actually a little clip right here. So you can remove the leather part and use it as just um, a little case. So you can just like take the whole thing apart. Oh yeah, see? Like that. And then you can just attach it through here. You'd probably have to cut off the leather piece though, but you can attach it right here and then just use it as a little thing. That's really kind of cute. But yeah, you would have to cut like the leather piece, which I guess is on here, like a necklace. I wonder if this is... Nope, the little circle ring that's on here is actually continuous. So you wouldn't be able to um, just like open the hardware or something. But I think that's, I think it's still pretty cool. That was something pretty awesome. Uh, but let's just put this back on. How do they do this? I'm trying to like, now I'm trying to like put it back on because I have no clue how they did this. Ah, I think that's how they did it. Anyway, um, there you go. Pretty cool, right? And last but not least, um, this beautiful Coach Rogue bag, which I am really excited about. It's in a beautiful tan color. And then the sides are in white. We have the top, the long like shoulder straps, which are two-toned. Um, it's kind of like a gray and then a white. And the handles are gray. And then inside, we do also still have the dust bag, which is fantastic. And then um, the interior of the front and back um, portions are in a yellow suede, like a mustard. And then the middle zippered compartment has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket down below. And there is... Oh, there's a little... Where's the little charm? Is it in here? Let's see. Oh, it is! Okay. Okay, cool. So it comes with all of the original stuff. This is the little charm thing that goes with the bag. Uh, I guess this bag retailed for $600, $595. Care instructions and everything are right in here, which is fantastic. I didn't even know that when I bought it, actually. I just thought it was just a dust bag. Um, it also does have the little dust bag for the little handles. Oh, no! <gasps> This is a Gucci dust bag. Hey, I got a Gucci dust bag, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like super excited for it. Um, also, someone's earring is in here. Crazy. Okay, well, that's cool. We love that. Where did I put that little charm thing? Oh, here it is. Let's put this onto the bag. Where's the... Okay. So, which side's the front? This would be the front. So, let's put this through here. I'm excited about this, you guys. I didn't know, I was like, oh, it's missing the charm. But, it is right here. All right, we have a complete set with the dust bag and a Gucci dust bag. Get it. 
Anyway, that is going to end today's thrifting video. I hope you guys had fun going to the store with me today and checking out all the finds. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome. So happy to have you here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Uh, tune in to today's vlog. It's up at 2 p.m. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow at 7 a.m. and another vlog is at 2. Uh, the live sales are Friday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye guys. Love you. Adios.